Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Manny's World. Today, on location in Port Jefferson. Busy Friday afternoon. Port Jefferson settled in the 17th century, a rural community that flourished in the early days of the shipbuilding industry. Once known as Drowned Meadow, it was changed to Port Jefferson in 1863. Here is the village grocery. I tell you what, it's pretty busy out here on this Friday afternoon. Here is the Port Jefferson Chamber of Commerce, located on West Broadway. Here is the Port Jefferson Village Hall. Port Jefferson lies on the north shore of Long Island, on the shores of Port Jefferson Harbor, which leads out to the Long Island Sound. Over here is Danford's Hotel and Marina. Port Jefferson is a popular hotspot for both Manhattanites and Long Islanders. One of the highlights is the Port Jefferson Ferry. Out there in the distance is the PSEG Power Station, formerly owned by Wilco Van Lipa and now PSEG Long Island. A little tidbit, if you find yourself at Sunken Meadow, you can actually see the smokestacks from Sunken Meadow. Another shot of the Danford Hotel and Marina. Here they have this little gazebo. Check this out. Now inside the gazebo, here behind Danford Hotel, view of Port Jeff Harbor. Believe it or not, it's not unheard of for people to uh, drive their boats from Long Island to Manhattan. Of the Port Jefferson Shipyard Building. Here is the Maritime Monument. If you're a Farmer's Market fan, here's the site of the Port Jefferson Farmer's Market. Runs every Sunday 9 to 2, May 3rd through November. It's very interesting what you find when you get into the nooks and crannies of these little towns and villages off the beaten path, so to speak. You find some unique things. This is Bale's Boat Shop. So come on down, buy yourself a boat. Anybody want to go roller skating? A common belief is that Port Jefferson was a major whaling port. Port Jefferson's claim to fame was the early days of the shipbuilding industry. Several communities on the North Shore of Long Island have a very similar history that waned in the 19th century as wooden built ships were getting replaced with steel built water vessels. Here is the galley building located on West Broadway. I don't know what this building is, but it looks cool. This is the steam room, seafood restaurant. Beautiful day for some fried shrimp. With some clams on the half shell, which is fancy talk for raw clams. <laughs> Here is Chandler Square. We got these little shops. Chandler Square, let's check it out. Sweet and savory crepe and rice pudding bar. What? Crepe and rice pudding bar, that sounds interesting. Over here we got the Spice and Tea Exchange, Origin of Era, and the Soapbox. Oh, found this little ice cream shop. Uh, found this little ice cream shop at the end of Chandler Square, getting some rocky rolling. 
The name of the ice cream shop is Only Eight. And here's the situation. Got some Rocky Road ice cream and an ice cold Pepsi. Taking the mask off for a little bit. Gonna recharge my equipment and then get back to work. Found this little back alley. <laughs> the alleys of Port Jefferson. So this is downtown Port Jefferson. This is Main Street. Here is the Port Jefferson Post Office. Built in 1965. Here is the corner of Main Street and East Main Street. Main Street, East Main Street. So there's Main Street, East Main Street, East Broadway, West Broadway. All right. Here is the Harbor View Church on the corner of East Main Street and Prospect. So just a heads up, you have metered parking. So you park and you got to use your phone as a QR code type in the parking spot number and then they'll text you how much the price is and they'll remind you when your time has expired. A very hilly terrain which is typical for the North Shore of Long Island. Very nice though, very nice. I would say if you want to spend a, a Friday evening, maybe a Saturday afternoon or maybe a Sunday afternoon Grab a little dinner, hang out by the harbor. If you're adventurous, hop the ferry over to Connecticut. There's definitely a lot to do here in Port Jefferson. They have these British style phone booths scattered across town. Pretty neat. The last hurrah for the summer. <laughs> if you're coming down Main Street, then you cut down East Main Street East Main Street will bring you back to Broadway, uh, bring, you, bring you back to the harbor. I'm assuming that YouTubers like the downtown videos more than the beach videos. Planning on shooting some more downtown areas in the future. And here we are at the end of East Main Street on the corner of East Main Street and Broadway. Another shot of the Danford Inn. Founders Park located on East Broadway. I can see how people would gravitate towards a village because if you like the hustle and bustle of city life without the city, the village is probably the best bet. I would say uh, the big attraction here is definitely that ferry. You got people, they come here, Hop across to New England for the weekend. A lot of business from the Port Jet Ferry. No question about it. Here's a little waterfall on the corner of East Broadway and Main Street. I bet you that water's nice and cold. <laughs> this intersection here is really crazy because all you have is this blinking light. I never understood that, but that light's been blinking for like 50 years. This road right here is Route 25A, and if you go west, eventually we'll bring you to Queens Boulevard. <coughs> here is the ferry terminal. You can buy your tickets, and they take walk-on passengers, so you don't need to bring your car. For years and years living out on Long Island, the argument is, or was, should they build a bridge across Long Island Sound? And so far, the answer is no. Here is the Port Jefferson Marina. This ship right here is named after P.T. Barnum, founder of the Barnum and Bailey Circus, who actually wanted to set up circus headquarters here in Port Jefferson, but the idea was shut down by town residents. So the ferry is operated by the Bridgeport and Port Jefferson Steamboat Company, founded in 1883 and is one of the oldest operating ferry companies in the United States. P.T. Barnum.
Bay Constable. Ah, I think that's the guy that writes all the tickets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today. This one is in the books. Hey, thank you for hitting that play button. And while you're at it, give it a good old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm your buddy Manny. This is my world. And I'll see you next time.